The motorcycle, a symbol of freedom and adventure, is a complex machine composed of various components that work harmoniously to provide riders with a thrilling experience on the open road. Among these components, the drivetrain system is an essential and often underappreciated part that plays a crucial role in transferring power from the engine to the rear wheel. When it comes to the heart of a motorcycle's drivetrain system, there are three primary options, chain drive, belt drive, and shaft drive. Each of these drive systems has its own set of advantages and disadvantages, which can greatly impact a rider's experience. In this video, we will delve into the intricacies of these three drive systems, highlighting their differences and exploring the pros and cons of each. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified my other videos. Chain drive, the traditional power transfer. Chain drive is perhaps the most traditional and widely recognized of the three motorcycle drive systems. It consists of a chain, sprockets and a set of gears, with power transferred from the engine to the rear wheel through the chain. Owners of super sport and naked bikes are definitely looking for speed and high horsepower, where hundredths of a second determine the superiority of these super bikes. For this reason, usually 99% of these bikes use chains to transmit power, and the reason is that the chain drive system transfers the most power to the rear wheel. Here are some of the key advantages and disadvantages of chain drive. Efficiency, chain drives are known for their high efficiency, allowing for minimal power loss during transmission. This efficiency is crucial in delivering maximum power to the rear wheel, making chain drive a preferred choice for high performance motorcycles. Customization, Riders have the flexibility to easily swap out sprockets to change the bike's gearing, enhancing acceleration or top speed according to their preferences. Weight. Chain drives are relatively lightweight compared to some alternatives, contributing to the overall agility and handling of the motorcycle. Cost. Chain drive systems are typically less expensive to manufacture and replace compared to belt or shaft drive counterparts. But at the same time chain drive has some negative points. Maintenance, chains require regular cleaning, lubrication and tension adjustment to ensure smooth operation. If you see chain structure, you have the plates, you have pins and you have the rollers and all these parts are moving. The chain actually has way moving pieces and parts than the other two systems and all these parts need maintenance. Neglecting maintenance can lead to accelerated wear and reduced efficiency. Durability, chains are susceptible to wear and tear especially in harsh weather conditions. Replacing chains and sprockets is a recurring expense for chain drive owners. Messiness, lubrication can fling off the chain and create a mess, requiring frequent cleaning to prevent dirt buildup. Noise and vibration, chain drives can produce noise and vibration during operation, which might be undesirable for riders seeking a quieter and smoother experience, especially on long distance rides. Belt drive, the silent contender. Belt drive is an alternative to chain drive, offering a quieter and lower maintenance option for motorcycle enthusiasts. This system employs a toothed belt, often made of materials like rubber or carbon fiber, to transfer power from the engine to the rear wheel. Scooter owners are not looking for crazy speeds or high horsepower. They prefer a hassle-free and low-cost ride. For this reason, most scooters use a belt to transmit power. Almost all models of Harley-Davidson and Indian also use belt drive system. Let's explore the advantages of belt drive. Low maintenance, belt drives require minimal maintenance compared to chains. They don't need regular lubrication, and their durability often surpasses that of chains. Noise reduction, belt drives operate quietly, making for a smoother and more pleasant riding experience without the constant whirring sound of a chain. Cleanliness, Unlike chain drives, belt drives do not fling lubricants onto the motorcycle or rider, keeping the bike cleaner and reducing maintenance demands. Longevity, belts are known for their durability, often lasting longer than chains and requiring fewer replacements over the lifespan of the motorcycle. Disadvantages of belt drive. Limited customization. Unlike chain drives, belt drives are not as easily customizable in terms of gearing changes. This can be a drawback for riders who enjoy fine-tuning their motorcycle's performance. Reduced efficiency, 
while belt drives are efficient, they can be slightly less so compared to chain drives, leading to a marginal loss of power during transmission. Cost The initial cost of installing a belt drive system can be higher than that of a chain, which may deter budget conscious riders. Shaft drive The smooth operator Shaft drive is the third option for power transfer in motorcycles, utilizing a rotating shaft to transmit power from the engine to the rear wheel. This system is usually used in motorcycles that are designed for long distances and require a smooth and noiseless ride, such as cruiser and adventure motorcycles. Advantages of shaft drive Low maintenance, shaft drives require very little maintenance compared to chains and even belts. They are sealed systems that do not need regular cleaning or lubrication. Durability, shaft drives are exceptionally durable and can last the lifetime of the motorcycle with minimal wear and tear. Smoothness, shaft drives provide a smooth and consistent power delivery, contributing to a stable and comfortable ride, especially on long journeys. Weather resistance, the sealed nature of shaft drives makes them highly resistant to the effects of weather, reducing the impact of rain, mud, and road debris. Disadvantages of shaft drive. Shaft drive is pretty smooth but you will lose more power with this system. Shaft drive systems are also generally heavier than chain and belt drives, which can affect a motorcycle's overall weight distribution and handling. The initial cost of a motorcycle equipped with a shaft drive system tends to be higher than that of chain or belt-driven counterparts. Shaft drives are not easily customizable in terms of gearing changes, limiting the ability to fine-tune performance characteristics. So, Finally we come to the question, which of these power drive systems is better for you? Chain drive, belt drive or shaft drive? Well, it totally depends on what kind of motorcycle you use or what you expect from riding a motorcycle. If you are looking for an exciting ride full of adrenaline, choose chain drive. If you are looking for a low-cost ride and your goal is just to get to your destination, choose belt drive. If you want to travel long distances with your motorcycle and you don't have any financial problems, shaft drive is definitely your choice. At the end of video, I rank these three power drive systems based on different conditions. Longevity, first, shaft, second, belt, third, chain. Maintenance, first, shaft, second, belt, third, chain. Power delivery, first, chain, second, belt, third, shaft. Quietness, first, shaft, second, belt, third, chain. Customization, first, chain, second, belt, third, shaft. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like the video. Thanks for watching and see you the next one.